everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the shells of one color rectangle blanket. This is a paid pattern that you can find on my Etsy or Ravelry shop. Links for everything I use in this tutorial will be in the drop down description box below or go to my website johnamartinez.com. Thank you for watching, now let's get started! For materials, I am using a worsted weight acrylic yarn. For a decent sized blanket, I would recommend about 1900 to 2800 yards of this yarn. You will also need an H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for weaving in ends. Begin with a slip knot of your choice. Now chain 52. Once you have chained 52, we can begin round one. For round one, we are going to be working down this chain, around the corner and to the end, and then back up the back of the chain. And then we're gonna slip stitch when we get back to the beginning again. So each end of our chain here is gonna have a corner. We're gonna have a beginning corner, then our second corner, then we're going to have a third corner, a fourth corner, and then as we come back up and around, we will create the finish of that first corner, and then we'll slip stitch. Start by half double crocheting into the fourth chain from hook. So this loop on our hook never counts as a chain, and we're going to count back four, and then half double crochet into that fourth chain. To half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. In this pattern, this is called a half double crochet V stitch. This chain at the beginning, these two chains is gonna count as our first half double crochet. Then this chain in the middle is chain one, and then we've half double crocheted into the same stitch. So we now have a V stitch. A stitch, a chain, a stitch. Now we're going to create our second corner. So our first corner we're gonna finish when we come up and around here. So in the pattern, this is called our second corner. We're gonna chain two. Next, we're gonna half double crochet V-stitch again into this same chain. So we're going to half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Next, we're going to begin a repeat that's gonna go all the way down the chain. You're going to skip two chains and half double crochet V-stitch into your next chain. And then we're just going to repeat this all the way to the end of this chain. Once I get to the end, I will meet back up and we can continue. So here I am at the end of the chain. Once you come to the end here, we're going to chain two and half double crochet V-stitch two times into the end chain here. It's already occupied by one half double crochet V-stitch right here, which is our last one. So we're gonna go ahead and chain two. This is a corner, half double crochet V-stitch, And then we're gonna do this again. Chain two, half double crochet V-stitch. So now we've come to the end of our chain and we've gone around the corner. So here we have our last half double crochet V-stitch, then chain two, this is gonna be a corner. Then our end half double crochet V-stitch, it's right there. And then another corner. And now we can begin by working up the back side of the chain. So from here, we're just going to repeat our round repeat again. We're gonna skip two chains and half double crochet V-stitch. And this side's quite easy because we're just going to half double crochet V-stitch into each one of these spaces that we've already used.
And once you get to the end again, or our beginning actually, right up here, I will meet back up. So here I am back to the beginning of my work again, and I'm going to place one last half double crochet V-stitch into my very first chain there. So I'm skipping these two and placing another half double crochet V-stitch. Now to end round one, we're going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet into the second chain here from our beginning. To single crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops for the single crochet. And now round one is complete. This chain one single crochet, this is our first corner here. There's our second corner, third corner, and fourth corner. Round two, chain one. Now we're going to single crochet back into this first corner here. So again, single crochet is insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. So this single crochet is what we're going to be slip stitching into once we come back around. So we're gonna go all the way down around the corner and then back up this side and slip stitch. Next, we're gonna place seven double crochet into the chain one of this V-stitch here. So this is our end V-stitch, and we have one on this end as well. Chain two, half double crochet V-stitch, chain two. And there's gonna be seven double crochet into the middle of this V-stitch. To double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the space, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. And we're going to do this six more times. Next, single crochet into your chain two space here, your corner. Then place seven double crochet into the next half double crochet V-stitch. and then single crochet into your next half double crochet V-stitch. And then we're going to repeat this. So we're going to do seven double crochet into our next half double crochet V-stitch, then single crochet into the following half double crochet V-stitch. And now we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end or our next corner here, and then I can meet back up. So seven double crochet into your half double crochet V-stitch, single crochet into the next half double crochet V-stitch. So here I am at the end of my work. I have one half double crochet V-stitch left on this first side. And I just wanted to also show you that my work is making this curving shape here. This is completely normal, so just keep working. Now once we get to the end here, we're going to place seven double crochet into this half double crochet V-stitch and a single crochet into our chain two space. We're gonna do this two times, once here and once here. And that's what that looks like. So we're going around the top of our work here. So what's happening here is we single crocheted into this corner space right here, and this is going to become our new corner. So this single crochet right here. And then as we go around the corner here, 
into this chain two space, this single crochet is now our other new corner. It's gonna be right here. Next, we're going to continue with our round repeat. Seven double crochet into our half double crochet V-stitch, and then single crochet into your next half double crochet V-stitch. Once we get back to the beginning again, I will meet back up. All right, so here I am all the way back around to the beginning of round two, and the last stitch was a single crochet into my previous half double crochet V-stitch, and we have one half double crochet V-stitch remaining. We're going to place seven double crochet into this half double crochet V-stitch, and then we're going to slip stitch to our single crochet at the beginning here. To slip stitch, you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, and then pull that loop through the loop on your hook. And there we are, round two is complete. Round three. Now round three is going to be a framework round where we're going to place V stitches. And these V stitches are actually going to be made with double crochets instead of our half double crochets. So we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same space to create these V-stitches. This is going to be a base, just like these half double crochet V-stitches were for our shells here, for the seven double crochet. So to begin round three, you're going to chain four. This chain four counts as our first double crochet and a chain one. So three chains is, a double, is the double crochet, and then the fourth chain is a chain one. Now we're going to double crochet back into this same stitch that we slip stitched into. So there is our double crochet V stitch, our very first one, all finished. When we come back around, we're going to place another V stitch into this same single crochet because we're going to have two V stitches into each corner and this single crochet is one of our corners. So this next single crochet right here, that's another corner, so we're gonna have two V stitches. Again, two V stitches into this corner and two V stitches into this corner. Into each one of these side single crochets, we're only going to have one V stitch. In between each of our V stitches over these shells, we're going to chain five. So let's chain five. Now we're going to do a double V-stitch. V-stitch, chain two V-stitch into this single crochet. And there you can see quite clearly now that it is a corner. Next, we're going to chain five and V-stitch into our next single crochet, and we're going to repeat that all the way down our work. Once we get to our next corner, I will meet back up. Now, here we are to our third corner. So again, remember, this is our first corner here that we're going to, that we start with. And then this is our second corner. So this one coming up here, this is our third corner. I've placed a V-stitch into that single crochet right here. And now we're going to chain five. Then we'll place a 
double V stitch into this corner space here. So V stitch, chain two, V stitch. So again, there's that corner, nice and clear. Then chain five over this shell here. And place another double V stitch into this single crochet here, which is our fourth corner. Then chain five over this next shell here. Then we can begin a repeat. So you're going to V stitch into your single crochet and chain five over your shells. Repeat that all the way to the beginning again. And once we have chained five here, I will meet back up. All right, the last thing we're going to do for round three is I have chained five here, and then we're going to V stitch into this same single crochet from the beginning. Then we're gonna chain one and single crochet to the top of this chain three here to create the end of our first corner. So it's again, it's kind of hard to see, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be double crocheting into this same stitch that we slip stitch into from the previous round. Then chain one, double crochet again into that same stitch. So there we have our V stitch. Then chain one and single crochet to create the corner. So we're single crocheting into the third chain of the beginning here. And there is round three complete. Round four. Round four, we're going to create shells and then we're going to be anchoring these chain fives. So we're going to be placing seven double crochet into these V stitches and then we're going to be single crocheting over this chain five and into the fourth double crochet of this previous shell here. In the corners, we're also going to be placing a single crochet. So we're gonna be single crocheting into these spaces. To begin, chain one and single crochet into this first corner. Then place seven double crochet into your V stitch. Next, we're going to anchor that chain five. So into this fourth double crochet of this shell down here, we're going to single crochet into. So you're going to single crochet, you're gonna take your hook, you're gonna go from the front of your work like this, insert your hook, and then you see my yarn going over that chain five. And this single crochet is going to anchor that chain five. So my yarn is going over, my hook is grabbing it and pulling up a loop. I have two loops for my single crochet, yarn over and pull through both loops. So now that chain five is caught in the middle of that single crochet. Next, place a shell into your V stitch here. When you get to your second corner here, which is this chain two, we're going to single crochet into it. Then we're going to begin a repeat. Seven double crochet into your V stitch here, and then single crochet into your fourth stitch of the previous shell. And again, we're going to go from the front of our work here. We're going to insert into that fourth double crochet. My yarn is going over the chain five and my hook is grabbing it, pulling up a loop. There's our single crochet loops, yarn over and pull through both loops. So, so far this is how our work looks. We have a shell, a single crochet, then a shell into our first part of the corner there, the single crochet into the corner space, and then shell again into the next V stitch. Single crochet over that chain five. So we're just going to repeat this.
And once we come to this corner again, I will meet back up. So here I am at the third corner, which is right here. We're going to place seven double crochet into our V-stitch, single crochet into our chain two space, seven double crochet into the next V-stitch, then we're gonna anchor that chain five with a single crochet, and then we're going to repeat it again. So a shell, a single crochet, a shell, and an anchor. So there we have rounded the third corner and the fourth corner. From here we're going to do our repeat again. Seven double crochet into our V stitches and anchor that chain five with a single crochet. We're gonna go all the way up back to our first beginning corner again. Once we get to the end here, we will slip stitch to join and then we can start round five. So here at the end of round four, I'm just placing a slip stitch. At the end of round four, you're gonna have your corner shells here, these two, and then more corner shells. These single shells all the way along the long side here, you're going to have eight of those. So eight of those on that side, eight of them on this side. Now we're going to begin round five. Round five is a repeat round and so is round six. So round five is going to be very similar to round three, which we already did, so it's going to be quite easy. You're going to place these V stitches into the single crochets and then chain five over your shells. So these side single crochets right here, you're going to place a single V stitch. These corner single crochets right here, you're going to place double V-stitches. So V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. This is also just a single V-stitch here at the end. And the way this blanket grows is it grows from its corners. So every time you place another set of V-stitches, you're going to have more and more of these bases here. So we're gonna start with one here, then we're gonna go to two, then you're gonna go to three, and so on. To begin round five, chain four. The chain four counts as our first double crochet and chain one. Now double crochet into that same space. Once we come back around, we will finish this corner here. So this is corner one. Chain five. V-stitch into your next single crochet. Chain five. Now if I was working on a repeat of this round, this would be my repeat. V-stitch into your single crochet, chain five, and repeat until your corner. So now here we are at the corner, and we're going to place our double V-stitch. V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. Then chain five, and skip your shell. Then we're going to begin the row repeat. V-stitch, chain five, skip your shell, and repeat all the way until your corner. Once we get to this corner here, I will meet back up. Here we are at the third corner, and of course we're going to place our double V-stitch into this single crochet here. V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch, and then chain five, place one single V-stitch into this single crochet here, and then another double V-stitch into this corner here, which is our fourth corner. So V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch, then chain five, and we can continue around.
As a reminder, this is going to be your repeat for this round on the short side. You're going to V-stitch into your single crochet right here and then chain five. That is going to be your repeat all the way across. And then once you get to the corner, you're going to place your double V-stitch. From here, we are going to just do the round repeat, which is V-stitch into your single crochet, chain five, and skip your shell. Repeat that all the way down your work, back to your first corner again, and then we will meet back up. Once you get back to the first corner again, I have chained five here, and then we will be placing our last V-stitch into the same stitch that we started in here, just like we did for round three. chain one, and then single crochet to your third chain of the beginning here. Now we're all set to begin round six. Round six is another repeat round. For round six, we're going to be doing exactly what we did for round four, except round six, we're going to be able to repeat until the blanket is as large as we want. So every one of these V stitches, you're going to place a shell seven double crochet into each one of the V stitches. When you come across these chain fives, you're going to single crochet into the fourth stitch of your previous shell and anchor that chain five. To begin round six, chain one and single crochet into your first corner here. Place seven double crochet into your first V stitch. Now anchor your chain five by single crocheting into the fourth stitch of your previous shell. Then your repeat is going to be seven double crochet into your V stitches, single crochet into your fourth stitch of the previous shell, repeat to corner. Once you get to your corner, you're going to place seven double crochet into the first V stitch, single crochet into your chain two, seven double crochet into your second V stitch. Anchor your chain five with that single crochet. And now we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Into your single V stitches along the long sides and your short sides, you're going to place seven double crochet into your V stitch, and then anchor those chain fives with a single crochet into the fourth double crochet of your previous shell. When you get to your corner spaces, you're going to place seven double crochet, single crochet into your chain two, and seven double crochet into your next V stitch. Continue in this fashion all the way around, and once this round is complete, I can show you how it looks. Once you come to the end of round six, you're going to slip stitch to finish the round. And this is what round six looks like once it's all finished. It is currently about 22 inches long and six inches wide. And remember your blanket will just continue getting longer and wider as you work on it. Once your blanket is the size you desire, weave in all your ends and your blanket is finished. I hope you enjoy making this gorgeous blanket. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a lovely crochet day and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!